Hello, I'm Odin, and this time I'm going to bring something out of the archives. Here's a little project that I had done using my old set, my old location. Some of you might remember that. And I need to bring this video out now because I spent all of last week working on something big instead of making a video for this week. I'll recap that later. But for right now, it's a goofy Viking helmet of my own design, and it'll be seen in Grunk the Smasher when that movie is ready for release in 2021. I didn't have my head cast yet, so I used a foam ruler and measured my head. This ruler is made from the same thickness of foam as I want to use for the helmet, so I know the dimensions will work. But I've still rounded the numbers up to make sure it'll fit. All right, it's 27. My plan is to make it in four panels. So I mark out one quarter of 27. Three quarter, I can air it a little on the uh, bigger side. Then I made a guess on how much I wanted to cross the top. As you can see, I didn't bother with a mirror. And I decide on 11 inches tall. I bend the ruler to make a curved line that connects to the top and the bottom of my pattern. Now, I have no idea if this shape is right, but it should be close. I flip over the cutout piece to trace to the other side. That'll keep the curves symmetrical. I copy the pattern onto some floor mat foam and cut out four panels. I heat each panel with my heat gun and curve them on my planisher. If I curve the foam first, it'll be a lot easier to glue later. I paint contact cement onto all of the seams, and then I wait for the cement to dry, and I can just stick all the panels together into kind of a bullet shape. Okay. Just a little too domed, I want it pointier. So, I'm gonna try again, but I'm not upset with that. Exactly. I trace out the first pattern, and then modify it to be even pointier. And then I go back and repeat all the same steps all over again. But this time, I make a helmet with a peak. I don't like the bulges, but... <laughs> well, it still fits. I got more to the point that I want. Places for the horns to go. That's kind of cool. I heat it again with a heat gun, and this will help smooth out all the curves and seal the outside skin. I put it on and feel where my eyebrows are. I mark the foam and then cut them out. I let the peak for the base of the nose guard. Now I can use a regular sewing measuring tape because my details are gonna be cut from two millimeter foam. I cut two strips and it's just the thickness of the tape. These will be the trim pieces that I use to cover the seams. I roll the face of the helmet and trace the brow line so I can cut out that trim piece. I glue on all the trim pieces. I do the brow first, and then I glue on the cross over the top. I cut and add one more two millimeter strip across the back of the neck. And I use a leftover piece as the nasal guard. Go away or I will tempt you a second time. To make the horns, I'm gonna use a piece of pipe insulation and I'm gonna cut it on an angle. I add contact cement to all the cut ends and when it dries, I can roll the cut pieces into a point. While the glue is still a little soft, I bend a curve into the horns. I cut a couple strips of 5mm foam and glue them to the base of the horns. I cut out a notch at the bottom of the horns so it can fit over that side trim, and I glue the horns on. Kind of feel like a Citadel Miniatures Chaos Warrior. <laughs> I want a bunch of rivets to be all over the seams. I could use googly eyes, but I want something that's a little more organic. So first, I hot glue foam backer rod onto the trim and then snip off just a small piece. And I cover most of the seams, but this isn't just the look I want. Next, I use my heat gun to melt the backer rod. This gives a rough hammered look and not a bunch of perfect cylinders. I mask off everything but the horns and seal the horns with some white plastic dip spray. I repaint the horns with an ivory craft paint and then I dry brush some gray right onto the foam. Since all of my foam was black and gray to begin with, I thought I would just leave it for this helmet. More dry brushing to add some silver highlights on all the edges, and a little bit in the flat areas. Then I water down some black paint and add a wash to the shadow areas. 
And I can use a paper towel to wipe off any drips or to feather the edges of the paint. And a smart person would seal the craft paint with a flat clear coat sealer. I don't think I ever did. All the materials I used to make this project, I picked up locally. I put a part list in the description. So that's how I made this particular helmet. Now, this whole thing went together in one evening for me. And, you know, there's gonna be better ways that you could make a more detailed helmet that you wanted, but if you need something fast and quick, this is how Odin makes. I want to thank Starius, Carl, and all of my Patreon supporters. You guys really do make this show possible. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe. Have an idea for something for me to make? Please leave a comment below. And if you make any of these projects, you can send me a picture.